Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Victoria 2 as Russia. And there really isn't much left for us to do. I'm just gonna crank up the speed here and see how that works. Um, fine. More fascists, boo. Hey, what do you know? We can actually pass a reform. Uh, the reform they want is the workday ones, yes. Yeah. I wonder how they'd react if we asked for us to get pensions instead. But oh, well, let's just do this. 12 hour workday. It's gonna shift that. It's gonna cut militancy. Mm, how is it gonna change the situation over here? Not much, to be honest. That's. Let's cut taxes. Feeling generous. Si Whoa! Did I just see what I just thought I saw? Siamese Malaya. Because that's a new one. New area. So that's gonna be... Liberation of Johore. Oh, okay, so it's Siam that's in trouble. Oh, I thought it was Britain that was going to do something, but then I'm not interested. Siam. Yeah, they have civilized. And in the British sphere. Hmm. Looks like we are going to be able to finish the entire tech tree. Both sides wanted our support. I'm not interested. Okay, so the crisis is brewing. Well, that's interesting. The US. The US and Japan. <laughs> okay. These, yeah, the US and Japan, they, I mean, they've been on the fence for just about every single conflict there has ever been. And suddenly, both of them are interested. strong has the US become? I mean, there's definitely a great power. 600 points for army and navy. That's... that's pretty good. Of course, their navy sucks compared to the Japanese one. And the Chinese army is... enormous. Oh yeah, I was building troops. They're probably sitting here and attritioning, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, I just split you up a bit. We haven't been called into this. Will we lose prestige then? I mean, I don't see the support side tooltip telling me anything. And if I... do, oh! Right, now I get it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now I have to support one side or the other. Well, they certainly hold considerably more of an army. We're gonna back Japan. And that settled it, yeah. Uh, good. That settled that. Uh, technically, we could have gone in on the US side and we could have had a great war, but it's only a few years left of the game, so. Don't really feel it will be worth it. Hey, what do you know? Finally, um, wait a second. No, that's not what I thought it was. Let's see. Okay, Temperance League. Uh, uh, Force a repeal of this act. I was thinking that might actually be the end of the modifier that we've had, the Temperance League, but that's not the case. Ugh. I guess I assume it's not the case. Let's see if we can. Politics. Oh, come on. Yeah, when you go at this speed, it's gonna be difficult to keep track. No, it's still there. Still giving us militancy. Uh, Togo! Togo! Let's create a state there. We no longer need the bureaucrats. Power in Togo. Might as well encourage it over here next door. Black shirts! Ugh. Don't want the fascists. I assume Britain is in a war or something, given how they're moving troops. No, they're not. And final tech. Definitely discovering all the naval techs. Um, okay, more countries to our sphere. Which ones? Punjab. Again, as soon as we increase up to Cordial, Britain is gonna knock us down, so. Brazil wasn't in our sphere, really. Okay, and Wallachia, we can do the same thing. No? Poland, okay. My mistake. Poland it is. I dare say we've done okay with Russia. I mean, we started with what? 10% uh, literacy. Now we have almost 100%. We won't get 100% because since we're constantly adding more cords, so we're getting more pops that need education, so. Yeah, we're not gonna hit that mark. Oh my, another state. Kazembi. Okay, thank you, Kazembi. Uh, remove you. Uh, Mozambique is probably way short, but heck, let's just park a guy there, see what happens. At least we're now finally seeing some sort of... Uh, yeah, at least we're now finally seeing some sort of um, assimilation, which is cool. Zanzibar. It's now a state. Punjab again. Let's see if we can get them up before Britain knocks us down. As they do. We have plenty of naval capacity. We could definitely increase that. 
increase our fleet, but there's no point. We are ahead by quite a lot. So yeah, we're going to get all the tech in the tree, which is rather cool. We have a substantially strong economy. Hey, another victory in the Olympic Games, lovely. Then again, uh, we did start off with Russia, and Russia has a significant amount of land, significant amount of population. So... The one thing that really uh, is bad for Russia is simply because, simply that they are a long ways off from becoming a democracy. I mean, we're still not there. Which is kind of surprising. I'm not sure why we're still a His Majesty's government. We've passed all political reforms except the all-allowed trade unions, which I didn't think was required. Generate political reform. This is probably going to be the last one. They want unemployment subsidies. Hmm. Yeah, the greatest advantage of playing and uh, playing the United States, and that's one of the reasons I always play them, is that they have significant immigration draw and significant assimilation capabilities, and those are pretty darn awesome. I mean, we've had quite a lot of minority events fire for us, and they they're kind of nasty. I mean, even now the minorities are pretty darn upset. Foul murder. Um, a piece of the rich. Let's see. Pause for a second. International crises, and the crisis is what? West Macedonia. Not interested. I guess now we're going to be in this mess after all. Browns on one side, I assume. Waiting for um, Germany to pick sides. Oh, I should have joined, but never mind. That is fine. I was just fearful, because if I joined uh, the British side, I would have expected Germany to join the other. And then we'd have a very late game Great War, which was would not be in our interest, quite frankly. Still, another election cycle, bah. Oh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> oh... So many, so many workers out of, out of a job. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because the factories won't finish before the game ends. Yeah, so there's no point in building more factories. These people will just be unemployed. That's the disadvantage. In the early game, you really want the state capitalism because then you give, get full control over the limit, very limited resources you do have, so that you're actually able to build the factories you absolutely need and the profitable factories. But in the late game you really want laissez-faire because it's just a nightmare to manage all of that stuff. So I don't know. Well, what do you know? We can actually influence Cuba. I would not have imagined that ever happening. 
Cool, let's do that. Our influence is kind of scattered thin. Uh, da, 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 da. You want to be pro military if I can find that. There we go. We're making a lot of money. So let's cut taxes again. Because I'm generous like that. And I would actually love to see the pops actually get their needs, but I don't know. I really wonder how the heck you're going to do that. No matter what I do, uh, they seem to be way far behind on needs. I never quite understood this. I never quite understood how you could possibly make it so that they get all their needs, at least the everyday needs. Oh well. They should be happy enough in our country, I think. Oh dear. Okay, so the Russian communists decide to give one last hurrah and rise up in rebellion. Oh well, we'll have to. Kill them all, I suppose. Um, <laughs> kill, kill, kill. Ah, why did you have to rise up in the inland there? So many irritating places you decide to rise up. Oh, good lord. There too. Silly communists. Now I don't recall. Do the game and does the game end uh, on January first of thirty five or at the end of thirty five? I don't recall. I do not recall. Generate. I wanted to check some ledger stuff before. Generate. We are. Yeah, I don't think Britain's gonna catch up in military score, which is cool. We have the greatest industrial score by far. Greatest prestige by far. We're leading by a thousand points. Not too bad. Then again, we started out with a fairly strong country in this game. Um, total population. We are not the greatest populous country, but I do like that we're almost we've almost caught up to Britain. That's not bad. I mean, they get all of India and that's where their massive population is from. And the US is fourth, which is yeah, it's expected I suppose. It would have been higher. I mean, the US is dependent on Europe burning and we've done a decent job at not burning. We've kept our militancy low. So there hasn't been that much emigration to the US, I think, from Russia at the very least. Or from the other nations, because they seem to have stabilized fairly well this game. And there hasn't and given that we played Russia and held back, there haven't been that many wars. Number of factories, we are way in the lead. Way in the lead of number of provinces too, but I do believe we started out ahead of everyone in the province count. I think we did. Literacy, well, we won't reach 100%, simply because of uh, how do we get new states, and the, those new states don't have educated pops. So we're not going to be high there. Leadership, we have 40 points, that's fine. Brigades, the, lar the largest army, yeah, that's ours. I assume that Britain has tons and tons of Indian regiments. And that's what inflates their score there. Doing okay on ships. A lot of different governments. Are there any communists? Yes, there are. New Zealand, Italy, Ionian Islands, and Yemen. 
Narco liberals are even on a few of those. They, they rarely see those. Plenty of conservatives. Quite a few fascists. Quite a few. Huh. And a fair few liberals. Reactionaries too. Wow. And of course socialists, and I believe we are among them. Yeah. There are still countries that allow slavery. Still countries where there are no votes at all. That's sad. Yeah, the right to vote is actually pretty weak. But we are universal and so are quite a few other countries at this point. Mm, let's see, upper house. there any after all based on population oh right 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 we yeah, that's the voting reform true I think yeah and we should have proportional yeah mm, public meetings yeah those are allowed but yeah we have that And we have free press, I believe. Yeah. Trade unions are not all allowed. Yes, yeah, so this isn't a requirement. I'm not sure why we can't become an actual democracy then. Quite a few countries put that disallow unions. Secret ballots, that's fine. Hmm. Social reforms, how are we doing there? We're not the best on minimum wage, but we're getting there, acceptable. Uh, work hours were definitely not the best there either, but again, we're getting there. Safety regulations, we are again not among the best, but we're getting there. Unemployment, I believe we passed the last reform, didn't we? Yes. So there at least we are. With the generous givers. And I believe we are on the same with healthcare. Yeah, good healthcare. And of course school system, we should also be on that list. Yeah, education is pretty much what they demand first, so. And that's actually good. Yeah, we have the most bureaucrats of any nation, by a fair margin. Oh, uh, enough, we have the most capitalists. That that I hadn't expected. I mean, capitalists are fairly small in number compared to aristocrats, but I had not expected that we would have the greatest number of them. We also have the greatest number of clerks, which is nice, and I assume of workers. Yeah. What about artisans? Where are you? Oh, that is artisans. So oh, fine. Yeah, we still have quite a lot of artisans. 3.5 million. I would very much like those to transform into actual workers or something, but... Oh, well. Soldier pops. We are not the greatest. And, of course, we don't have slaves, so we're not listed there at all. Oh, that was officers. Whoops. They're soldiers. Yeah, we're third. And these are all... No, it's not. That's just our provinces, right? Yeah. So the Chinese pops, uh, Chinese populations are the largest ones, the ones we caught that uh, conquered there. Which is fine, I suppose. Which is the most rebellious? Harer. Nine point, yeah. Quite a few provinces that are very upset with us still. I will. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Chinese provinces are really profitable. Of course, this is just the base output, not uh, not the factory stuffs. Quite a few factories that lose money, quite a few factories that makes a ton of money. Electric gear. Definitely a money maker. Price history, yeah, most of them have gone up. And that seems to be it. We'll just... Okay, so we'll just see if the game ends uh, at the end of the year or not. Of course, I just want to kill all the rebels. Browse rearrangement, and it didn't end. Okay, fine, so it's 1936. So we have one year to go. So there are just a few provinces left. There are you. That one. Okay, so there was one in the far north there somewhere. Up there, okay, fine. So you are gonna tour those two and then up here. And then back down. And you're gonna go to that one and then back to St. Petersburg for a victory parade. Something like that. And that should be that. Except... Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> that's just sad. Okay, so the Russian anarcho-liberals decided, let's try... This seemed to work so well for the communists, let's try to rise up too. In a single darn province. <laughs> One province. A fairly sizable rebellion, sure enough, but... Still. Well, it was their last chance, I suppose. Did they just... I think they took that and just... Okay, fine. Um, yeah, they took control of the province. I mean, that, that's a large army, so they, I suppose that's why they're able to do that. That's fine. Go down there and kill them anyway. If we can, before they move away. No alliance with France, or no, rather. I don't want to go there. No, that was not alliance. They called us to war against France, uh, against Russia. Ah. Ugh, words. Yeah, they call us to war with Germany again. So we're screwing France over significantly, I know. Who cares about their military access requirements? I don't I certainly don't. We are just going to cruise into victory at this point. And we're losing money. Ah, never mind. So it's, it's, it seems that we're going to lose money ever and whenever the world goes to war. I assume that's because we suddenly can't buy raw materials because these guys mobilize all their uh, populations. And that means there are much... Uh, the amount of raw materials produced drops down significantly. Look at that. France lost another one, chunk of land. Yeah. So whenever they go to war... There are, the amount of raw materials on the world market goes down, and that means our factories won't be as profitable because they can't purchase the goods they need. That's my assumption. I thought we already sphered Brazil. Okay, so I assume that... Okay, France is fighting us there. Evil France. Ah, well. That's gonna be the end of this game, I think. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, one more state. Finally! Finally! I've been waiting for that for so long. Creating this. 
But he was stuck into an actual state. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. I mean, uh, I would really like this to be a lot easier for Russia to convert into a state, but... Yeah, well. What about down here? The hopes of converting these. 0.01%. 0.03%. Well, that... <laughs> oh, let's send him there. Can work for a month. I don't think anything's gonna happen. And we can pass one last reform. And that's gonna be... Work our reforms. Okay, fine. Let's do that. That should also change your requirements for goods. Yeah, not much though. Yeah, that's been it. That, it's been a fun game, really. It's but it's not really. Uh, well, the irksome part about playing Victoria is simply that we can't conquer as much. But this is. And this is game over. And it is. So that, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play series. Uh, thank you for watching. That's definitely something I need to say. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start another game of Victoria 2. I mean, I like the game, but since I can't conquer as much, I can't do the map painting that I so love, and that's that's the biggest detriment. And as, you, as I amply demonstrated, I don't know all the mechanics of this game really well. It is kind of fun, though. Nevertheless. Um, yeah. Uh, if you'd like me to try another game of Victoria 2, by all means let me know, because <laughs> if you don't let me know, uh, I might never do so. I might never do it. I do abide by the will of the people. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the end of this Let's Play session, I think. Thank you for watching, and see you some other time. Oh, and one final ad addendum. I forgot to show the victory screen, I suppose. I should <laughs> probably do that as well. The final numbers. Ah, well, we did well enough, I think. I like these numbers. 12,000 score. Pretty good. But that's gonna be it. Thank you. Goodbye.